This program is brought to you by the following sponsors. That crab trying to make it. He's going to make it. I guarantee you he make it. What is going on guys? Jay Shy here with another video and this video today is going to be kind of like a um, kind of like an, a demonstration video I guess kind of sort of I'm not really sure but I don't know what to call this but a lot of you guys have been asking me where I get those plastic kind of um, protection sleeves that I get for my manga. Now I get my protection sleeves from actually like two different places uh, uh, but let's start off with the ones that everybody clicked on to this video for and let's start off with the imported stuff so this is the uh, Japanese imports uh, sleeves and I'll explain these for you guys so you guys understand because there's different ones there's like eight different ones Th these are three of the basic ones and then you got the the super duper I'm big, I'm heavy, large one. This is the A4. Uh, this one's huge. It's 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 big, and I'll explain what this one's for in a little bit. Um, but a lot of you guys wanted to know where I get these sleeves and how do they work and stuff like that. So let's start off. I have a couple of manga that I'm going to be boxing up, and a lot of these um, sizes are depending on what you have to kind of look for. Um, they they kind of tell you on here. Uh, but it goes by metric system so I well, before I ordered these I had to do a lot of research on like how the metric system works in terms of American like just regular well metric system is the regular stuff but uh, what we do here is is way different so the B6 is for uh, smaller sized books so if you guys don't know these two books are different sizes as you guys can see so I am Sakamoto is a l slightly smaller than the platinum end. Now, I'll, I'll show you guys how to do the Japanese ones, and I'll show you some other stuff after that. So, let's go ahead and I'll show you this cringeworthy demonstration here. All right, so this has two different kind of like openings you can kind of see there's an opening here where my finger kind of slides out and there's another one here so the way this works is like this at least this is the way i do it uh so this side to me will be the front so you take the inside of your cover slide it in until there's like a little bit of plastic sticking out the bottom you guys can't see it from here but there's a little bit of plastic sticking out the bottom and I move it to the front then what you have to do is curve this underneath and just so I don't bend the cover of the book too much I always kind of just slide it in there. Push it to the front, like so. Make sure that this piece is sticking up at the top. Then, peel that little piece off. And what this is, it's gonna stick to the other piece of the plastic. I don't like to pull it too tight because I like to give it some room to bend. That's just me. And then your book is protected. So I figure I re-edit this, 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 this part of the video really, really quick. So I was doing a little more research and I found out that I actually put these on backwards. So I'm going to show you how to do this actually really quick. So before I did this, I would always put the front cover in this part of the um, 
of the plastic but what you're really supposed to do to make it easier on yourself is you actually put the cover through the little part that has the double sides in it and I'm gonna show you why it makes it so much more easier to slide these things through so you slide this all the way to the end like so slide this all the way to the end right so that when you curve this part it's so much easier right then after that all you have to do is push and then it slides into place it's already in place it's so much easier this way two hands there we go so I figure I do a, a little light re-edit <laughs> but there you go guys uh, the reason why this piece a lot of people well <laughs> I haven't seen a video on this yet, but I know some people, a lot of my friends say, why is this piece of plastic sticking up like this? And the reason why is because when I sl when you slide your book into your bookshelf, this piece sticking up is supposed to help you tilt the book out of the bookshelf so it'd be easier to pull out. Um, because I, I, I see a lot of people pulling books, books out of off their bookshelf and they're just kind of scraping the bottom of the plastic and i like, oh God, that, that kind of hurts. I'm, I have severe OCD, so... I like my books looking very, very sexy like. So that's that's usually how this works. So uh, for for smaller books, you basically have to measure it to, to find out. But for smaller books, you're gonna go with the B6. That'll be this. That'll be B6. For like regular shonen mangas, it'll be this one, which I'll leave in description down below which one you should probably get. Uh, I mean, where where I get these? So the purple, it's kind of purple pinkish. That'll be for the platinum end sized, like uh, Shonen Jump size manga. You guys can see right here. I'm gonna be sleeving these all very soon. And then you have your A5. Your A5 is for the signature edition kind of books. Those are supposed to make your books very shiny. Now, the thing is with these. I actually like these better than my second choice, where I get my other, I just dropped the dice, <laughs> my other protection sleeves, and I'll be from a website called clearbags.com. They sell these book covers. These book covers, they're not bad. They're pretty good. Uh, my, my only complaint with them is, uh, <laughs> although they're, 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 they're not bad, they're not as shiny. Uh, and I know a lot of people like their, their, their shelves to look pretty. Um, they're like this on here, you can't really tell, but it, it feels like kind of like a mylar kind of plastic instead of this where it's just a regular, it's like a regular, like I can't even explain it, but I'll give you guys a little tutorial of how to put these on and I'll leave a link, a link in the description down below. So the first thing you want to do with clear bags um, protection is th there's this dotted line here. You can't really see it, but you're supposed to go ahead and tear this off. You tear that off. You put that put this piece to the side. So I haven't put this in my protection yet. So you take front of your cover, you slide it in. Now you would think that this is supposed to tape over there. No, and no, none of that, <laughs> none of that. You take your other piece that you tore off and this goes on the back cover. Like I said, I have very high OCD, man. I like my, all my collections protected and all that stuff. Now what you also want for this is you also want the pieces of plastic on both sides sticking up like it is here all right so you want to just pull it up 
then take off the piece of plastic. Make sure it's pulled. There we go. And then it just sticks to the back of your book. And there you go. So, like, you can't really tell, but this, the, the Japanese one is like a bit clearer. This one still looks clear, it's just the plastic feels different. Like, this one feels like a Mylar glossy, where this one just feels like just you just put plastic over your book. I mean, it still does the job, because the reason why I get these is because I don't like sliding my books without sleeves on my bookshelf. It just, I don't know, it just bugs me. And I, I always travel with my manga um, to like work, because I read a lot of manga at work. So I like to have them protected while they're in my bag. Now, there is a third choice, but for your optimal protection, and it's these things. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, these are for perfect protection. These things are, I mean, they protect your, your, your books. Um, my only problem with these is that once you kind of put them in the bag, I mean, then you just kind of take them out later. I mean, that's pretty much it. Um, but you, 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 you can't read it, you know, you, you can't open it, but it's 100% protected where this one is, if anything should spill, you're going to get spilled on it. But like, I like to read my manga on my break time and a lot of times when I take my manga out, that, that means if I put the book down, that means this has to be underneath it and I don't want it to get dirty, that kind of thing. Where this one is, if, you know, something, you put it on and something's like underneath, I mean, it's going to get on the plastic, you can just wipe it off. Um, and it just looks better on a shelf. <laughs> it looks better on a shelf for all you manga collectors out there. So I figure this would be a pretty cool video to make. And before I end off on that note, I will show you guys what these giant ones are for. This is the A4. You guys can see it right here. This is the A4 size. And the A4 size, let me see if I can grab it. Ah. This is the Bloodborne Strategy Guide. I have this A4 in my Bloodborne Strategy Guide. And, um, so <laughs> I never wanted it to get all messed up so it, it, it fits on here very very good so that's what that is for so anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope it was helpful in you know showing you guys the different types of protections that you guys can have uh, these the clear bags are not expensive I mean and the the company is in New Jersey so if you live in the States it's not that it's not too bad these on the other hand are quite pricey uh, they run about 300 yen that's cheap that's about what two dollars and 75 cents two dollars and fifty cents the problem is is the shipping the shipping is quite expensive but um, if you buy enough of these, I mean, it kind of justifies. You have to buy a lot. I, I usually, when I get these, I buy plenty of it so that I have, uh, it justifies kind of the shipping. Um, so this is these, the sizes for your manga. So these are for the minis, uh, for your smaller sized manga. Uh, this is for your kind of regular sized Shonen Jump. Maga, that would be the purple, and your A5 is for your signature editions. So, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this demonstration, and um, I will see you guys next time. Peace, guys. Oh, I hope you guys enjoyed the playmat also. I, I designed it myself. It actually says J Shy. <laughs> see you later, guys. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. He's gonna make it. <laughs>